mini breaks of Fifty Shades of Cray Cray. How can anyone go somewhere new and be expected to enjoy themselves without at least a decade to decompress? With no idea where to go, how to eat or what to do, it's impossible to stop the whole thing turning into a monumental fudge up. But lash yourselves no longer, for I, a man who was once mistaken in a medieval siege for Richard Ayuadi, intend to be the first person you've met who can actually help. <laughs> Forcibly chaperoned by a televised face to give me the remote chance of relatability, I'm going to drag you, howling, through a maxi mini-break. <laughs> This is Travel Without Mercy. Tonight, 48 hours in and roundabout Seville, the sunniest city in Europe. And to salvage what would be a steady solo soaking of low-energy sardonic remarks is comedian, actor and colossus Rob Delaney. I don't know this man. Together we will sightsee with mighty strides. Richard, not sure if you're aware you're still walking. Master Flamenco. Gosh, this is hard. It's like Black Swan. And restage the three amigos. Thank God for that crash, man. We're here, but should we have come? Seville is most of the way to Africa, making a two and a half hour flight the only humane way to get there. Oh. How's about that knife fight, eh? <laughs> that was something. How's the rest of the journey there for you? It was okay, but they made me pay for my tea. Well, that's the jet for you. Yeah. But I think that these oranges in the trees are free. So. Yeah, so maybe harvest some and try and offset some of the I mean, euro shortfall that you're already found yourself in. Why Seville? Why have you taken me here? I'm going to tell you that now. The Andalusian capital Seville is the fourth biggest city in Spain and its largest inland river port. It's been ruled by the Romans, the Moors, and for the last 850 years and change, the Spanish of all people. And for those buffoons who like to get drunk on sun, Seville will scorch your back with 3,000 hours of sizzle a year, earning it the nickname the frying pan of Europe. Frugal mini breakers can secure a weekend here for south of 240 sterling, but we seem destined to spaff more. My prophecy becomes true as soon as I swipe Rob's platinum card to book us in at the somewhat swanky Hotel Via Panet. This is a shame. The head height's good, but oh. we are not shielded from the element. It's that sexy Spanish arrogance. Yeah. There's probably not even a Wellington boot shop in this goddamn place. Let's um, haggle over the room. There is a tiny differential between the two rooms. I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay. The hotel has 50 rooms and six suites, and because we are neither fish nor fowl, we've booked one of each. Okay. Wow. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. I'm not sure whether this is the suite or the standard. I have to imagine it's the suite. I don't know. I just know I'd be happy here if... That's good for me to factor into my decision, and it is my decision. Very well. Ooh. Okay. This is very you, isn't it? Rob? Wow. Uh, very you. It's not not a nice room, but I. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I'm going to leave you to bed in here. I thought the good thing is that window is very hard to fall out of. So there's no point dwelling on this. Don't dwell on it, Rob. To distract Rob from focusing on potentially divisive disparities, I immediately sign us up for a sightseeing running tour. It's a little chilly. Yeah, make sure that your nipples are warm before you do this. Yeah, I have to. Um, well, we're waiting for Angel. I imagine that's some kind of stage name, but he's a runner. Are those his children? I think so. Angel is very fertile. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hola. Are you Angel? Yes. Hello, Angel. Hello. From Hi. your running to Sevilla. I apologise for what I'm wearing. I've just come from a Stone Roses weekend uh, reenactment society. Yes. Yeah. How many kilometres do you want to run? Uh, 20 kilometres? Or... I, yeah, I think more than 20 would be uh, dangerous. One. One would One be good. One yes. <laughs> Thank you. Go. Uh, Go I'll stay behind just hey. to not embarrass anyone with the pace I set. Angel will tailor tours to suit hardcore sprinters or shuffling sightseers, allowing us to eyeball several of Seville's most pertinent points of interest at pace. Are we running by something important? Yeah. Do you know what is this? Uh, I know. It's the, the cathedral. cathedral of Sevilla. I would have said Nando's. 
The cathedral is the third largest in the world, outside only by St. Peter's in the Vatican and Aparecida in Brazil. Do you go to this church? Oh, yes, of course. I yes. get married here. OK. Really? Yes. Wow. yes. OK. And how many people were at your wedding? Did they oh, have to...? Oh, 1,000 people. There were 1,000 <laughs> people. 1,000 people. It's very, very, very big. How many are you still in touch with? 1,000. What's wrong with this place? Sickened by Angel's popularity, we head towards the Parque Maria Luisa, losing several runners who stop to reassess their own fractured relationships. Richard, not sure if you're aware you're still walking. I know. <laughs> How fast am I? Making for a non-existent finish line, we plod into the Plaza de España, which you may recognise from cinematic masterpieces such as Lawrence of Arabia and the film Attack of the Clones. As I hear the sound of Rob's right glute ripping, I call our running tour to a halt. I, okay. I must thank you very much for what's happened so far. I have to go with him because I'm his employee. It is good. It's a beautiful city and a great way to see it. OK, we'll thank, see you later. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Did you enjoy that? That seems like I a really scam. did. Well, I mean, we benefited in that we'll maybe live five minutes longer because of this workout.